Hi, today we're going to talk about Gmail and what we're going to learn today is how to create and use a template uh, in Gmail. So if you have a certain type of email that goes out and most of the content is the same every time you send it and you find yourself sending it over and over and over again, it might be a good idea to create a template. Now this is not a native item in Gmail, so it's not automatically enabled. So what you need to do is log into your Gmail account and find the spot over here on the right hand side where there's a little gear and it's settings. And hit that drop down and go to the settings area. And when you get there, up along the top you'll see uh, some different areas and you want to go to the labs area. This is where they have experimental stuff, but uh, this certain um, item, this canned responses, which is what you're looking for, um, is actually something that's been around for a while and I don't see it going away. People use it a lot. So what you want to do is find the canned responses. In my case, it's enabled and it's on the top. You might have to scroll down a little bit. Um, it'll be disabled and you just hit the enable button and then scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save changes. Once you've done that, you can go back and hit compose and before you do anything you will want to um, create your template so I'm just gonna do a little bit of draft stuff here and of course an actual templated uh, email that especially when it was going out about my services would be longer than this but this is just for <laughs> showing you how to do this once you've got it the way that you want it and remember when you create a template you can always add things like say that some people get certain information and other people get others you can put it all in there and then just delete when you're when you're using your canned response or your template you can just delete what you don't want going to that particular person that's getting it or you can add uh, you know personalized information for example if this was a canned template I could then go in give it some space and then say hello and put the name in and remind them how we met or whatever once you've got that template all the way that you want it with all of the information that you've been using over and over and over again then you want to come down here way down at the bottom right hand corner and when you hover over it it says more options and you click that and now you see you've got your tan canned responses. So what you want to do is you want to do call this a new canned response. And when you do this comes up here and and you want to give it an explanation that you're going to understand and it's going to make sense to you because chances are once you've started using this you're going to create more and more and more. So you you want to give it a name, hit OK, and you're all set. Now let's close that out and let's pretend that we're composing a new email and we want to use our canned response. So we want to insert our new letter template and that's as easy as it is and like I said it pulls it all in there so then you could you know go in and uh, yeah I can't even type you can go in and add a name uh, we met last Thursday at Pizza Hut um, and you can add whatever you wanted uh, if you wanted to take something out that wasn't necessarily needed you just delete that and then add your recipients in there and you can send it off but it makes it so much easier because this is a silly short email but if you've got an email where there's a lot of information that you've been typing and retyping or even cutting and pasting it's a pain in the butt so by using these canned responses it gives you a nice templated gmail gmail template that you can use over and over again and save yourself time and effort